Hello and welcome to this video on directly proportional quantities. Now let's just say that we're in this wonderfully drawn car uh, and we're driving along and we have a particular fixed amount of time that we're allowed to uh, drive for. Let's say it's a test drive, we're given a certain amount of time we're allowed to drive. Now let's say that if you were driving at 30 miles per hour then you would end up travelling for 100 miles. Now what would happen if I was to double the speed that I was driving at? And again, it's the same fixed amount of time. Well, if we were to double the speed, we would double the distance that we'd travel. So if this is twice as big, then we'd travel twice as far in that same amount of time. So we would go 200 miles. What about if we halve the speed? So instead of 30 miles per hour, we went 15 miles per hour. Well, we're going only half as far, so we'd only travel half as much distance. So we'd only go for 50 miles. And we say that the speed of the car and the distance are directly proportional. And that just means that whatever you times one of the values by, you'll times the other by the same. Whatever you divide one of the values by, you'll divide the other by the same. So if we double the speed, we double the distance travelled. If we triple the speed, we triple the distance travelled, etc. So it's really identifying what that scaling is and making sure you scale the other quantity in the same way. So let's use that principle to solve these questions. Let's say that we want to make six cakes and we require 180 grams of flour, 50 grams of sugar and one litre of lemon juice. I'm not sure about this recipe. Um, so part A, how many sugar do I need to make 18 cakes? Well, let's think, to make six cakes then we'd need 50 grams of sugar. So it's helpful to write the information out. So what about to make 18 cakes? So if I write the 18 cakes here, now what we do is we just work out the scaling. So how many times bigger is 18 cakes than six cakes? Well, it's 18 divided by six, which is three times bigger. So because the number of cakes and the amount of sugar is directly proportional, if, we, if we've got three times as many cakes, we've got three times as much sugar, so we just need to times that by three, and 50 grams of sugar times three would be 150 grams of sugar. So that would be the answer in this case. What about B? How much lemon juice do I need to make nine cakes? Well, we know that six cakes requires one litre of juice, and we want to work out nine cakes. Now, if we had a calculator, we could work out this scaling by dividing these numbers. So if we do nine divided by six to work out how many times bigger nine is than six, that will give us 1.5, so it's 1.5 times bigger. Just like before, we did 18 divided by six to see it's three times bigger. And that means we need 1.5 times more juice. So if we times this by 1.5, 1 times 1.5 is just 1.5. So it'd be 1.5 litres of juice needed. Now, if you didn't have a calculator, what you could do is you could say, well, if six cakes is one litre, then three cakes would be half as much, which is half a litre. So if three cakes is half a litre, then nine cakes would be three times as much, and three times as much as half a litre would be one and a half litres. So you could find a number that's common to both six and nine cakes, in this case three. Three is a common factor of both, and therefore work out three cakes first. But it's probably easiest to just work out that scale factor by dividing. What about C? If I had 900 grams of flour and plenty of the other ingredients, so let's not worry about the other ingredients, how many cakes could I make? Now, I know that six cakes requires 180 grams of flour. And now I'm using 900 grams of flour. So it's over here, the amount of flour. And I want to work out how many cakes I can make. Well, again, we just work out the scale factor. So we just do 900 divided by 180, and if you do that division, you'll see that it's five times as big. So we've got five times as much flour by doing this division, so that means we can make five times as many cakes. So six times five would be 30 cakes, and that would be the answer. And we're presuming that we have plenty of the other ingredients, so we don't have to worry that we're limited in the amount of other ingredients we had. What about the second question? 
If eight women could dig 22 holes, how many could 20 women dig? So let's write that information out. Eight women, and I like to put an arrow in between to show that they're directly proportional. So they could dig 22 holes. How many could 20 women dig? Well, they are directly proportional, because if we were to double the number of women, we'd expect for them to be able to dig twice as many holes. If we were to triple the number of women, we'd triple the number of holes, etc. So again, it's just a case of identifying that scale factor. We can do 20 divided by 8 to see how many times bigger that is than that. So 20 divided by 8 is 2.5. So it's 2.5 times bigger, which means they can dig 2.5 times more holes. So 22 times 2.5 is 55 holes. And again, if you want to avoid having to use decimals or whatever, uh, you see a common factor to 8 and 20. So they both have a common factor of 4. So what you could have done is you could have first worked out what four women could dig, and that is half as many women, so half as many holes, i.e. 11 holes, and then to get from four women to 20 women, you can see you're just times by five, 11 times five is 55. So that might be a bit easier if you want to avoid decimals. And then what about this last question here? If I can read 14 books in 55 minutes, how many could I read in 1,135 minutes to the nearest book? So let's write this information down. 14 books is proportional to the 55 minutes. And we want to work out 1135 minutes. So let's put that here, 1135 minutes. The minutes is on the right. How many books? Well, again, we just identify the scale factor by just dividing these. So 1135 divided by 55, and that gives me the frac 227 over 11. I'm just going to keep it as that fraction because I can use that value directly using the answer key. So I want to do 14 times by that 227 over 11. So I can just do 14 times by, and if I press the answer key, that's going to use that previous answer. And that gives me, to the nearest book, 289 books. That's an awful lot of books. And that is the final answer.